I'm Gajin Fujita, and uh, I'm an LA artist, native. You know, growing up in Boyle Heights, we weren't the only Japanese family. There, were, there must have been other Japanese American families living within Boyle Heights. My parents used to take us when we were children to like the Buddhist temples in Little Tokyo. Having both parents being creatives, I learned how to draw and use crayons and pastels and things like that. And then also we had to write in Japanese. And so that was a good lesson in Japanese language right there. It wasn't until I reached high school that I started thinking a little bit more seriously about pursuing art, but it was it had to be the graffiti that attracted me, that was out in the streets that I saw every day. I think it helped shape me um, and identify what the culture was like in LA. So the process of graffiti being layered in, in my paintings is one of the primary processes that, that I start off with. I decided to make my own panels, my own walls that I'd gilded with gold leaf. I just thought, heck, I can do whatever the hell I want with these. You know, they're my walls. It just feels like uh, I'm bringing the streets kind of into the studio. Speaking about symbolism, as an example, koi carp that I see in this lake symbolizes resilience and ultimately success. The koi carp is said to transcend into becoming a dragon when it sw swims upstream and becomes mature. So that's a symbolism that I use in my work. I'm really attracted to the Japanese symbols. Why I gravitated to these symbols of the Edo period, I was looking at a lot of uh, woodblock prints imagery from the Edo period that my mom, who was a conservator of Japanese antiques, uh, she would bring home sometimes. That's what sort of gave me the epiphany to see if I can incorporate graffiti with Edo period imagery. I always keep that phrase of um, violating people's expectations in the back of my mind because that's what at the end I want to do is kind of like creating magic uh, and I want to have the audience and, and people who are viewing it feel some kind of awe.